It's May Me Day. It's May Me Day. Happy anniversary to me and Mr. Guileen. 325 today. Our anniversary is 325. That's 325. Everybody always wonders. That's what it is. I don't know if this is posting on our anniversary or not, but tell me down below. Happy anniversary. Check the description box for complete instructions on how to enter this giveaway. I always give away one of these boxes. Maniology sends me one, and then I buy one every month to give away. So I appreciate if you use my code, Guileen325, and I make a little commission, and you guys get 10% off. And uh, everybody's happy, and I can continue to buy these boxes and pay for the shipping. Shipping's stupid, okay? Stupid. To give away. All right, let's check out what's in this month. This will be April's mini box. Uh, starts out with a couple of cards and uh, everything all nice and wrapped up in some tissue paper. All right, so we've got a couple of stamping plates and polishes and a cute stamp. Live stamp love. Ooh, that might be computer worthy. Um, Tara, Miss Space Slow Lacquer, puts really only special stickers on the front of her computer, and I started doing that too. Anytime I get something really special that I really love, sparkly or really cool, I put it on the front of my my computer. Alright, so here is the cards you get with it. It gives you a card telling what's in the box and then um, Manny and how to do it. So we have oh, some really pretty stars and clouds and, and stuff. Soar through the skies of endless imagination with April's Over the Clouds is this month's box. This is a prescription. This is a subscription box that uh, comes every month. It costs, they did raise the prices last month. I told you about that. Um, I understand it and it's completely fine with me. They, I mean, really, I'm surprised. This is the first time they've raised the price at all in the what, four years they've been doing this. Three, four years they've been doing this. So uh, give them credit for that for sure. Um, anyway, I'm not going to read it all. Oh, this is a different card. Oh, I got wordy again. Oh, there's no picture. Oh, okay. I don't like this. Okay, whatever. Monthly subscription box anyway. So it depends on, you know, the cost. They also have an express box that just gets two exclusive plates. These plates are exclusive. And the special something, something that they have also. That's the express box. It is, I believe, $20 now. $20. One, I don't know, but you don't get the polishes, but the polishes you can purchase at a later date. They're not exclusive, uh, so keep that in mind if maybe you don't want the polishes. Um, MXM125, a dash of magic to any manicure with a cute full nail accent designs. MXM126 radiates all feel-good vibes. Chase rainbows and live life in full brilliant color. All right, those are the plates. Um, the uh, early access polishes are Rain Raindrop B510, a dusty pale blue stamping polish with clas classic cream finish. Cloudy, a luminous white stamping polish with pearl finish. Okay. April's bonus gift. Gift is both pretty and practical. Boost the happy vibes in your nail room with our new rainbow heart shaped container. Woo! Okay, that sounds fun. Um, it's got a lid, store charms, mix polishes, store acrylic soap cotton pads, to make cleanup easy and beautiful. I have several uh, little, little containers that I do that. Um, this one actually has acetone in it right now that I use to clean around the cuticle area and I add a little bit of um, acetone additive. This is uh, unforgettable. This is from Ribbit Stickets and this was um, given to me. It's getting pretty low. This is uh, pineapple upside down cake and 
Christy gave me this gave me this. She came and stayed at my house for a night last year and um, left me some of that and I add that to my acetone. A little acetone additive. Alright, well, let's check out this next cart. Cotton Candy Sky. This is what they named the manicure that they did. Oh, that's really cute. Really cute. Looks like a blob of cure, maybe. I'm going to guess a, maybe a blob of cure. And then they stamped like some star or some clouds and stuff. That's cute. Um, and then on the back, yep, they used a, a, a sponge, but you could use a stamper. Maybe I'll do that. Anyway, there's how they do did that, Manny. Dude it. That's how they dude it. All right, let's check this out. I want to see this. I want to see this little heart shaped. I don't have one that's heart shaped. Ooh, it's wrapped up so it doesn't break and separate and clink and clank around. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love that one. Oh, um, I use these a lot when I'm doing nails too. I put alcohol in them and then you can put the lid on it so it doesn't evaporate. Same with acetone, but I, I don't use regular polish on, on people in my shop. So anyway, I'm going to transfer this to here <laughs> and I'll use that. That's so cute. So cute. I appreciate that. Oh, that one's so much prettier than one I have. That is really pretty. Okay. Clean it on my mouse. And uh, we're going to pick this polish out. I'm going to stamp the lids. We're going to give it a little grade. Uh, what we think uh, stampability is. I grade them on how opaque they are and how... Um, when they're stamped on these lids, if there's any change, like the black is going to turn it a different color than it would over white. So that's my criteria for grading. And we're going to check out these plates. I will take the film off of them. Always remember to pull the blue film or maybe clear film. Some, some places have clear film. Um, I've run across these that have two layers. And we're going to take that off. What the heck? Oh, there's a there's a rooster outside my window. <laughs> and the neighbor's roosters. I don't have any chickens, but the neighbor's chickens like to come over and eat my bird seed that I put out for my birds. He scared the bejesus out of me, okay? <laughs> I opened the window and scared them. There, take that, chickens. All right, first up we have MXM126. Try to stay out of the glare. Hello. Um, ooh, we have some different sized stars. That's cute. And same with the clouds. Some little flowers, hearts. Oh, rainbows, shooting stars, butterflies. That is adorable. Um some like geometric shapes and and we have a couple of um somewhere over the rainbow and after every storm there's a rainbow cute mxm you know that's just mini me mini by me sorry mxm 125 and here we have i think that's what they used in that um card more clouds, different stars, and oh my gosh, look how get little cloud figures of, oh, a cat, flower, I don't know, is that a bear, a bunny, a dog, oh, so cute. Those all look like clouds. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. Very cute, very cute. So since it's my anniversary weekend, um, I really, I got this box. I didn't even open it. I didn't look at the email. And so I am getting surprised by this stuff too for the first time. All right, let's stamp on these tops and see what we got. I got my spring stamper here. 
B510 Raindrop. This is the cream. Looks kind of gray, blue, like a blue green. No, like a blue gray. Oh, it's darker than I thought it was going to be. I mean, that's good. Okay, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think I have anything like that. Perfect pickup. Um, well, that looks really good. It didn't change colors. Um, so over white or black, it looks the same color. Uh, it is a darker color, so I'm not going to knock it. It's, it looks pretty good over black. Um, I wouldn't use it over anything that dark, but very nice. A plus. Ooh. Definitely like that over the black. Ooh, that's cool. But it's not going to show up over white. Barely. Hello, little birdie. Little baby blue bird just flew up there. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how to grade that because of what it is. Like, it's reflective. It's not going to show up over white, but it shows up really good over black. Um... I mean, I'm going to give that an A just because it is what it is. It's not, it's not going to be something I thought that I would paint my nails with. I don't think it's going to be opaque on my nails, but I appreciate that it, it stamps like that over dark colors. So these two colors really aren't going to like stamp over each other. Like that would probably stamp over this though. Okay, try that. Sorry, I wasn't filming there. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on a swatch stick. It is pretty opaque in one coat. And that's really that's really nice. But that's what you want in a stamping polish. Um, I always recommend don't use stamping polishes to paint your nails with. Because um, the really concentrated opacity is not conducive to nail painting just because um, it chips quicker because it's so opaque. Uh, so it's just like a, I don't know, it's just one of those things that I don't, some of their polishes, if they're not super opaque, I definitely use them to paint my nails with. And you can, um, but usually they're formulated more for stamping because they are stamping polish. So, um, what I pulled, I actually bought a couple weeks ago, this um, toadstool, really pretty peachy gold um, holographic polish. It's beautiful, but I don't think either one of them are gonna stamp over. There's one coat, it's pretty milky. Um, I mean, it's, it's nice, it's pretty. And I think that gray will stamp over this. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about what I'm going to do. I mean, that actually with two coats is pretty opaque. And it's very pretty and iridescent. And this gray will look good over this. So, ugh. I don't know. All right, so I really love this. Um, I thought I was just going to do one coat and do like a smushy, ugh. Uh, I grabbed these three. We have, um, pumps, bluebell, and blue ribbon. Okay. I was just going to show you how to do a dotted cure or, or a smushy, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to take these three colors and you can either just put them directly on your stamper and uh, like give them a little stamp or put them on the mat and stamp it um, to kind of pick it up and we'll see what works best but I'm just gonna do some a smushy like on one nail you could put it directly on there too but I'm just gonna do that 
and that's really cute. Ooh, I really like that, the way that looks. Right, I hear my husband out here banging around on something. I swear the man, if I, he knows I'm in here filming, he cannot just stay in this room and play games quietly. No, he's got to come out here and bang around. Do crap. Never fails. All right, so I think I want to do, I don't know. I'm going to use these colored stamping polishes, but I'm going to do this gray over this. And I think use this. But that's like wet. <laughs> They're all wet, uh, let's be honest. So I'm going to take and put this on the one nail. Out. And let's do that straight over the swatch stick. Um, as I thought, it looks really good over the, the gray over the white. They're so cute. I knew it. I knew you'd have to come over here. You cannot stay in. <laughs> exactly. You can't stay in the room and, and not interrupt me. You got to be out there making noise. What are you doing? I was going to vacuum up the truck, but then I remembered that you were, <laughs> you were uh, filming, so. Vacuum your truck. I'll close my window. I came over to see if you were done yet, and you were not. <laughs> uh-huh. Go vacuum your truck. Whatever. You wouldn't. If I was in the living room playing my video game, you would uh, yeah, not. Blah, blah, blah. How long? I don't know. I can't ever tell. Whenever, just do it. I'll close my window. It's not that big a deal. All right. <laughs> Ooh, impossible for him. Impossible for him. What a dingleberry, I swear. All right, let's see this white. It's not white, is it? I don't know, whatever. Over the dark. Um, very pretty very pretty it catches the light and even like without anything shining on it I can see it pretty well if I got my flush on you very pretty very pretty I mean I gave them both A's um, I've, I really think that would look really pretty over black okay I was paused sorry did a pink kitty and I'll probably put like some stars or something over the top of it. And I'm going to do the different animals on here and um, show you what I end up with. Alright, so blue didn't stamp at all over that. I mean, it's stamped, of course, but it doesn't show up. So I'm going to change that to purple. I mean, purple doesn't show up that great either. The pink showed up the best over that. Maybe. Alright, he's cute. Let's do uh, let's see with something more solid. Yeah, that looks good. If I was in frame, that is. Okay, I just realized, so it's our anniversary. He is out there vacuuming his truck. You know, the correct thing to do here would be vacuuming my Jeep because it's a disaster and it always is because I don't clean it because he should. Correct? He's out there vacuuming his truck. Oh, I am going to tear him up about this. <laughs> I'm just going to joke about it really, but... <laughs> 
It, I, it just just dawned on me. Oh, you should be cleaning my Jeep, not your truck. I ordered him some ramps to put his truck, heavy duty, super duty, heavy ramps that he can drive his truck up on or his mower that I mow. I do all the mowing. He should have to clean the mower, right? And change the blade. That's all I ask for. Him to take care of maintenance on the mower. I, oh, I mow the three acres. Tell me down below. Am I right? Um, yeah, he should be cleaning my Jeep. This top coat, good grease grizz. Um, I got it from a PPU and August of 2019. PPU is also, I think, always li linked in my description box. They only open up one Friday or actually one weekend, the first weekend of every month. So I believe that is coming up and it's a good place to just get indie polishes cool indie polishes that you don't see anywhere and help su support some more small businesses like Maniology is. And it is a matte top coat. I love this. Evidently it's, uh, I mean, it's probably not available even if you went to their website and I can't pronounce that and I don't know who that is. So, um, yeah, Maniology. Um, we would like some really good matte top coat that is uh, sparkly and uh, flaky like that. That would be great. Awesome. We would thank you immensely because I'm sorry. Here's your uh, bit of snark for the day. I don't like their matte top coat. I don't think it makes anything very matte. And um, there. <laughs> Love you, Maniology. <laughs> Anyway, I think those those are really cute plates. I mean, you could do some really cute things with them. Um, I I lost my audio while I was editing, and so I don't know if when I post this, the audio, when I finish editing, if the audio will come back or not. But uh, there's what I did on the rest of the nails. Oh, I should have done something there. Anyway, I did like that. I think that's cool. All right, so there's what I did on uh, the rest of my nails. And I went to the eye doctor today and got a couple compliments on my nails. They thought they were cute too. Um, and another update, my husband did vacuum my Jeep, although he threw all the stuff, the junk that was in the floorboard in the back, in the back seat. And in Lucas's car seat, it's a disaster. But it did. he did vacuum it. It does look nice that way. All right, thanks, you guys. Bye. Papa got it up. Way up. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna let he's gonna let Lucas hold it. Good job, buddy. Yeah, we had to get a new kite. Much better kite. What do you think, Penny? Oh, she don't care about the kite. She just wants her frisbee thrown. Always. Always, always frisbee. Let go. Drop it. Hey. Oh, not even close. Drop it. Oh, not even close.